This is the quilt of Hathor. It makes nightmares come true, kills an unsuspecting sleeper in a dream filled with terror. We were told that it was with the Penatypes, a strict religious sect. So Mickey and Ryan went to recover it. It almost cost them their lives. They seized the quilt from Effie Stokes, the woman who was hopelessly in love with Reverend Grange. They were going to return to the store so the quilt could be locked away in the vault, the only place on earth where its power could be held in check. But Ryan chose to remain among the Penatypes rather than leave Laura, the girl he loved. Mickey did return with the quilt, but it was a copy, a fake. Ryan was left alone, alone with a killer. at the Hesterville colony on my way back here, Reverend. The council has grave concerns about this colony and thy leadership. Such as? Well, thy inability to choose a wife. Thou knowest I have twice become betrothed and twice my intended has been taken from me. The wife is, next to thee, the most important of us all. It's wrong to be without one. There are those who say that perhaps another should take thy place from a healthy colony. Can the council be so callous as to ignore my bereavement? What happened was God's will. All of us here understand thy sorrow and thy loving nature. But the council. Oh, the council. Only at breakfast, why? Thou art Sarah's kin. That quilt that was stolen from her, I have seen it. And the red and grange must know. Are you sure it's the right one? Black with a red pattern? With my own eyes, I saw it. Not five minutes ago, I tell thee. Where? One of the sisters. Effie Stokes? Aye, the same. How didn't thou know? Where's Effie? She'll be at the wash house. Look, we have to get the quilt. It's evil, Elder Florence, a great evil. We have to get it now. I will not give it to thee. I will only give it to the Reverend Grange. Whatever, as long as Effie doesn't have it. We'll get it, we'll give it to the Reverend, and that's fine by me. There. There's another aspect, Reverend. The council fears that these deaths involve witchcraft. Blasphemy! Aye, but that is the council's concern. The demonology is being practiced. Who spreads these lies? They know of the outsiders among us. There is strong doubt about thy wisdom in promising the hand of thy daughter to the outsider, Ryan. It's just a father's weakness for his only child. I hope the council will agree with thee. Is it upstairs? Thou shalt wait for me here. Well, look, I can just go up. It's a sister's room. Thou art not allowed. Well, if you get in any trouble, just shout. Huh? There be no trouble. Elder Florence, this is the quilt that was stolen from Sarah Good. Is it? Whether it is or not, the Reverend Grange will decide. It is mine and it will remain with me. <laughs> this is the passage to the power that God has ordained for me. <laughs> This is the quilt that 
was stolen from Sarah Good. Sarah Good. Sarah Good. Sarah Good. Last night. I don't know any magic for a few of them. Anyway, you got some sleep, didn't you? Yeah, but Ryan's up there alone. I'm worried about him, too. I know. Is that limo gonna make it? Well, that's to be hoped so. I think we got everything. Yeah, I hope we're not too late. I must go to see the council. The council has sanctioned an inquisitor to come and examine thy stewardship. Why? Why? Why was I not told? When doth he arrive? The day after tomorrow. We... I must ensure that there are no incidents while he is here. Dost thou understand? I shall hold thee responsible. Reverend! Elder Florence is dead! You have to help me. It's important. I must speak with your father. About what? The less you know, the better. Ryan. So all the deaths began when the outsider arrived. Before he came, we were at peace with ourselves and the world. And now witchcraft. Witchcraft doth arise in the outside world, not among the penitites. What art thou saying? Ryan's no danger to this colony. He's a gentle, kind man. And he has seduced the Reverend's very daughter away from her family and her faith. How dare thee? I am not seduced, neither in mind nor body. I need to speak with thee. I was thinking the same thing. Now, in my office. Bring him. So much for brotherly love. It is for me to question thee. Elder Fraser, thou art excused. But thou art excused. Reverend Grange. Some say that Elder Florence died by thy hand. What? I didn't kill her. Since thy arrival here, four have died. 
There is a furor among my people. They claim witchcraft. What sayest thou? They're right. What? It is witchcraft. It's the power of Satan here and now. I will not be mocked. Listen to me. Mickey and I came here to find something. An old Salem quilt that bears a curse. A curse? And what sort of curse? I'm not sure, but, but whoever sleeps under it seems to have the power to kill people in their dreams. Art thou suggesting a quilt has killed the women who would marry me? Yes, sir, and now Elder Florence. And who has this quilt? Effie, Effie Stokes. Effie has the quilt? Yes. Why would she kill Jane and Rebecca Lamp? Perhaps out of love. She loves you very much. Always has. Besides, Laura tells me that the Reverend's wife is the most powerful woman in the colony. And if something should happen to you... She becomes leader. But how doth thou explain Sarah Good and now Elder Florence? Well, Elder Florence saw Effie with the quilt, went to go get it, and Effie must have caught her. Same thing with Sarah Good. Am I to believe Effie Stokes is a witch and thou art blameless? I have known Effie Stokes since we were children. I have known thee barely two weeks. I think I prefer to believe in Effie than in thee. Maybe so, but if you're interested in what's going on here, I'd check her out. She is one of us. Thou art not. I think I can help thee. But I forbid thee discuss it with any of our colony, or else I shall surely expel thee. months, as each of thee must know, I have been seeking a bride. Tragedy has sought me many times, and I have watched as each of my betrothed has been sadly buried. But my position, uh, and my heart, have compelled me to ask another of our number if she would have me to husband. And she has said yes. Sister Effie Stokes. Since our colony needs immediate stability, we were secretly wed this afternoon. moment of my greatest satisfaction, my husband. I trust my haste was not too unseemly. I might have wished for greater haste, Josiah. Shall we? This will ensure thy dreamless sleep, my husband. Um, 
the light. odds against two fuel pumps going in two days. 5,000 to one. How much farther have we got to go? About another 150 miles. I hope we can get Ryan to change his mind and come back. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this journey is to get the quilt back, not Ryan. Yeah, but you are not going to speak to him, aren't you? Only to tell him that I'll miss him. If he's found what makes him happy, I have to respect that. For what? I had hoped by taking Effie Stokes to wife, I might get her to tell me where the quilt was. Could you find it? Where is it? I had it in my hands. But Effie is gone and taken the quilt with her. What? Well, I had hoped to awaken before dawn and take it, but when I awoke, she had fled and taken the quilt. She must have become suspicious. I did what I thought was best. 
I'm sorry. Inquisitor Holmes. Uh, thou art early. We had not expected thee before tomorrow. We pushed on through the night. The Council is greatly concerned about the reports of transgressions taking place here. Oh, I'm certain all of their concerns shall be allayed. We shall see. I trust this hall will be suitable for thy inquiries. I appreciate thy grace. Please make the flock aware that I may call upon them at any time for questioning. I will. And hold thyself most ready, Reverend. Thou hast much to answer for. Of course. Doesn't it seem a little suspicious to you that your father should marry Effie just to get her to turn the quilt over to him? What? Well, it is kind of a roundabout way of getting the quilt, isn't it? Art thou saying that my father's motives are less than pure in this matter? But it is a possibility. How dare thee? My father's not like that. And surely I would know better than thee. So, uh, you see, Brother Inquisitor, mm. all the trials now facing this colony began when the outsider arrived. Mm. Now, in everything he does, he brings the outside in, the ideas, the sins of the outside. It is council policy to encourage converts. So long as this outsider is willing to take vows as a penitite, I welcome him with open arms and suggest thou doest the same. I trust thy investigation has met with success, Brother Holmes. What dost thou know of a quilt? Uh, we make quilts. The women do. I have been told of a quilt reported stolen from one of the departed sisters. Black it was and crimson with the patterns and colors of Satan, Reverend Grange. I investigated as soon as I heard the report, Brother Inquisitor, but uh, there was no sign of theft. And in fact, the woman who reported it missing later said that it was only mislaid. Convenient. Please, don't be mad at me. I meant no harm. I know thy heart. It just hurts to hear thee speak of my father like that. I thought it was thee. Ryan, I have bad news for thee. What? The Inquisitor has ordered thy expulsion. Thou hast one hour to pack thy things and leave. Why? I haven't done anything. At least let me talk father, to him. Please. Were it up to me, I would let thee stay. But the Inquisitor has ordered against thee. I'm truly sorry. <laughs> So am I. I will write to thee often, every day. I wish. 
Laura, I've never met anyone like you before. I never dreamed someone like you could exist. Nor are you. Thy world is so far from mine. And when thou art gone, my world will be so much less than before thee. If you could... No, please. never leave here. And I can't stay. Here. Do not forget thy hat. It'll look good in the city. It'll give thee something to remember me by. Inquisitor Holmes wishes to see thee. The Inquisitor? He awaits thee in the meeting hall. Tell him I'll be right there. Perhaps I can convince him to change his mind and let me stay. Go, and may our love give you the power to sway him. Seat me, brother Inquisitor, for shame. Witchcraft. Here? Never. What has happened? The Inquisitor is dead. Killed by this man? No. I didn't do anything. It's the curse. I was just going to meet him. Enough! Laura. Father, what happened? Ryan has killed the Inquisitor Holmes. You can't do this. I swear I had nothing to do with this. Please, Laura, you've got to believe me. Thou shalt have thy chance. Like hell I will. Probably right in the heart of it. What's happening? 
He's accused of killing Inquisitor Holmes. But Ryan wouldn't kill anyone. Perhaps he will be found innocent. Well, not by this crowd. This is a lynch mob. We gotta do something. <laughs> You call yourself a man of God? Thou art accused of a grave crime, the killing of a high commissioner, an inquisitor of the Penitite faith. I didn't do it, and you know it. The truth shall be determined in time. Whose truth? Take the outsiders away. Whose truth? Your... Thou art accused of killing a humble and welcome visitor, Inquisitor Holmes. The charge against thee is clear. I didn't do it. When I got then there... Then what he... wast thou doing there? Brother Matthew said the Inquisitor wanted Even to Even after thou hadst been told of thy banishment from this community by the Inquisitor's own command? Well, I was hoping he would change his mind. Then who killed him? Surely, had there been another there, thou must have seen him. No, no, there wouldn't be anyone there. It's the quilt, a curse on the quilt. Josiah, it's you! You've got it! Enough! Yes. 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 No. This is God's court! Amen. Uh, who's in trouble with the church? Who, who would benefit if the Inquisitor died? I am the vessel of God's will. And vengeance is mine, saith the Lord! Amen. An inquisitor of the Penitite faith is dead, and his killer stands before thee. In the name of God, outsider, I sentence thee to die! <laughs> Clear. He showed Inquisitor Holmes no mercy. Brian could never kill anybody. These people here have judged him. We have our laws. He broke them. And now God's will must be done. Yeah. You rigged this, didn't you? 
Brian knew you had the quilt. You were afraid he would tell the Inquisitor. So you killed two birds with one stone. Guard thy tongue. There is the punishment reserved for thee and thy accusations. Light the fires! No, no, you won't get away with this! You're insane! I didn't kill anybody! Please! Somebody help me! I didn't do anything! Stop! Listen to him! Laura! It's not Ryan! It's my father! My flesh and blood who has caused all this! Stop this blasphemy! Dost thou recall the pattern on the blanket, Father? It is thy wife's, my mother. She created it for thee. He's telling the truth. Thy own blanket from thine own bed was wrapped around the body of Sister Effie Stokes, thy new bride. Lies. She has turned her back not only on me, but on all of us when she spurned our laws. She has fallen from God's grace. He killed, he killed the brother Inquisitor and, and Effie, his own wife. And hast thou proof? Search the woodshed under his house. Thou wilt find the body of Epi Stokes. Listen to her! Josiah, is this true? We must search the woodshed. Burn him! Burn him now! Quickly burn them! He's going to get the quilt!
I, uh, gotta go. I knew they would. I can't stay, not just yet. There's too much work for Mickey and, and Jack and me to do. You see what the power of the devil can do in the wrong hands. I know. Thy life is chosen. Oh, come with me, Laura. No. My life, too, is chosen. My work is here with my people. With my father gone, the mantle falls to me to help them rebuild. And like you, I, too, must deal with the work of the devil and see that it never happens again. Each in our own way, huh? I'm afraid so. But I learned a lot from thee. Thou hast taught me about love. I wish I'd never come here, never seen you, then I'd never have to leave. Love's too rare to wish away. Goodbye, Laura.